tonight, the gold being the most coveted award in international beauty, the Miss World Crown. Now they're down to just ten left in that race. To help you make up your mind still further, we're going to see them parade in evening wear, and Gina has the details. Our first contestant this evening is Miss France. Moreto is wearing a blue satin and sequin gown. The front is designed in the shape of a fish with muslin draping from the waist as if to represent the waves of the sea. This represents a combination of French haute couture and the French colony of Tahiti. The deep blues representing the Pacific Ocean. And that is Miss France. Next we have Miss Turkey. Aslahan is wearing a white stretch satin and organdy silk gown. The gold, silver, and paisley adornments are all handmade and modernized from old Turkish motifs. And that's Miss Turkey. is Miss Jamaica. Sandra is wearing an ivory and satin lace evening gown. There is a fitted bodice with a small train and a low back. All hand embroidery is done in Jamaica. Next we have Miss USA. Charlotte is wearing a classic champagne silk full-length evening gown. The dress is, is sleeveless with a scoops neckline, front back, and edged with a large mirrored beads. Next we have Miss Australia. Leanne is wearing a winter white silk taffeta gown with lace and sequin pearl overlay. It is a 1930s style sheet with three embroidered halter neck and bodice. This simple yet exotic gown has a center split with a cutaway low back. This has been elegantly beaded with pearls and teardrop pearls. Thank you, Miss Australia. Next we have Miss India. Ritu is wearing a full-length evening gown with long sleeves made from fine gold brocade and hand-sewn delicate beading including fuchsia-colored beads. Most important, Ritchie has designed all of her wardrobe for the pageant, including this lovely gown. That's Miss India. Next, Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela is wearing an elegant white silk strapless ball gown with intricate black beading detail on her bodice and hips. That's Miss Venezuela. And next, Miss Namibia. Michelle is wearing a black velvet 
strapless, full-length evening gown. The heart-shaped bust line is encrusted with diamante, as is the hemline, with the back of the dress featuring a high slit. There is a long chiffon train attached at the arms by diamante bands. Michelle's dress exemplifies top South African design. That's Miss Namibia. And we have Miss South Africa. Diana is wearing a black sleeveless gown of silk and tulle. The close-fitting bodice is hand-sewn with silver sequins and diamante. The gown fills out from the hip into a full tulle skirt with a small train at the back. in this evening, Miss New Zealand. Lisa Marie is wearing a strapless full-length gown and has a perfect complement to the hand-gathered silk design. It is finished off with a thigh-high split in the back. Gentlemen, our 10 semi-finalists are leaving where don't they look stunning? I'd love to take them all in the time. They're great.